Hi, welcome to my course on fundamentals of image processing. So image processing is a very powerful technique to understand images more deeply and performing operations such as rotation, cropping, masking, flipping, etc. on the images. So why, 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 why do one need to understand the images? There are several applications once we understand the images and are capable of applying the operations of the images. Few examples are uh, illustrated here. So object detection. So one example is you can use image processing to identify the objects in the images such as dogs in the picture uh, or you can also use the uh, image processing to segment the uh, uh, dogs out and you can perform further processing on the images such as identifying breeds of the dog or breeds of the cat, right? So you can uh, process images more deeply using image processing. Let's see a few more examples. Image processing also is useful for identifying the human faces uh, in the images, which is very, very useful uh, from security perspective. And also we can scale the uh, face detections very easily like in schools, colleges, universities. Uh, this is very powerful techniques to uh, prevent unauthorized user from entering the campus. Uh, image processing is also used in case of biometrics for fingerprinting detection. It is also used uh, for restoring the old images. Um, um, well, these days, as you know, autonomous uh, vehicle driving is very common. So in case of autonomous uh, vehicle driving, the vehicle is continuously taking pictures of the objects in front of it and uh, image and, uh, and analyzing those images constantly in real time. Hurdle detection is one of the important techniques that this autonomous vehicle tracking system is used to avoid accidents. And then image processing can also be used for OCR detection where uh, we can analyze the license plate of the car uh, as they enter and exit through a toll booth. And image processing is also heavily used in the medical industry, uh, X-ray enhancing, for example, to diagnose the disease more effectively is one of the important applications of image processing. So what are you go so what are you going to learn in this course? In this course, we will use OpenCV, that's a very popular library for manipulating the images, along with the Python, which is a very popular programming language. Uh, and we can use OpenCV and Python together to manipulate the images. We will learn several techniques such as cropping, uh, which can be used to identify the region of interest in the image and extract them out for further processing. We will also learn how to resize the images without um, losing the aspect ratio so that image doesn't appear skewed and we will also learn several techniques of resizing and interpolation uh, in, this, in, this, in this course. We will also learn how to mask where we identify only a specific part of the image and mask out the rest of the image so that we can use that uh, mask part for the further processing. We will also, we'll also learn about the flipping of the images which is basically uh, either rotate the image around the uh, horizontal axis or the vertical axis to find the mirror images. Again, very powerful images, uh, very powerful technique which is used for creating uh, multiple data sets from a limited amount of data set. We'll also learn how to rotate the images by any angle in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Uh, and all of this we will do by using OpenCV. So let's get started.